Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. So as y'all can see from the tie down below, today we're going to be doing some home improvement. I'm going to be putting my couch together in this area. If you are not new to this channel, you know that this area is usually where I do my hauls at. I used to have my desk over here. I would do my wig reviews. But that's not where my desk was supposed to go. My desk was supposed to be on the other side of the room. And this side of the room was supposed to have a couch. I just could never find a good couch. But I found one. I bought it after Black Friday because the price was lower. I was tracking the price for a few months. I was tracking it since like the summer, just trying to find a good one and making sure that I was spending my money right because the couch is not cheap, baby. But I finally got one and I'm putting it together today. And I decided, I already started putting some stuff together, but I was like, you know what? Let me pull out the camera and show y'all because there aren't many views on how to put, there aren't many videos on how to put it together. And these instructions, let me let me show y'all these instructions. So, I've built a few things for my room. I've built a few things in the house. And y'all, these instructions right here, they are like worse than Ikea instructions in my opinion. Because they are like no words, it's all pictures. And I'm just supposed to figure out what to do. So I was like, let me record this because I'm sure there's somebody like me that was looking for a video on how to put it together. So like I said, there are some stuff that's put together. So I'm gonna just show y'all through that. And then I'm gonna go back to some of the bumps in the road that I had and show y'all how to get through it. So let's get right into it. Cause I'm ready for my couch. I'm ready to just be laying on my couch. I'm so excited. <laughs> so to start, when you open up this type of couch, the sectional couch, it comes in three different boxes. I may include a video of those boxes. I may not, I'm not sure just cause those boxes are in my room. I'm not sure about it. It's a whole thing. But this couch will be delivered in three parts. It's going to deliver, one box will be the armrest, another box will be the actual body of the couch, and the third part will be the sectional or the chase. It's gonna be like the longer part. So you're gonna wanna unbox all of those pieces, and then the chase, which is the longer part, that is going to have a box of all the things that you need to put everything together. It's going to have all of the feet for the couch, it's going to have some of the tools, the screws, and all that sort of stuff to put everything together which I was not expecting. I thought I would just have to put everything together. I didn't know I would have to like do anything, <laughs> but it's okay. You wanna open up that box, it should have everything in it. What I personally like to do when I am putting something together, I like to count all my pieces just so I know that I'm not missing anything. A lot of times when you get something that you have to build together, a piece of furniture, a piece of furniture that you have to put together, a lot of times they'll put in extras but I always like to count to make sure that I have enough before I start putting things together because I'm gonna be real mad if I put things together and I don't have enough and I'll have to call the people. Um, so yeah, make sure you count all your stuff ahead of time. You, There are feet in there, they have bolts, they have an Allen wrench, other types of feet, two other types of screws and um, wheels that you're gonna get in there. So I took out all those parts and then one of the first steps is to put the feet on the chase so I'm gonna take you all over to the chase right now cuz it's on the whole other side of my room um, but for that part all you're gonna need are two of the box let me so with this couch there are two different types of feet that you can get in the box or that you will get in the box you're going to have feet that look like this they're square and they get put into the couch with this bolt and this Allen wrench and then you're going to have round feet that will get put in with this screw. Ooh um, all of the box square looking feet are going to be placed on the parts of the couch that you'll be able to see if you were looking at it head on. I'll show you that when we get over there. And it kind of shows you that in the picture as well. And then all of the round 
pieces are the ones that are gonna be like the feet in the back of the couch or the feet that you won't see as much. So like I said, I'm gonna take you all over to the chase part of the couch and I'll show you all how to put those pieces in. Okay y'all, so don't mind my room. Like I said, I'm in the middle of renovating and all that sort of stuff. But the first step is you're going to have these feet and they have some longer screws. I'll show you that when I get to the other side of the room. But for this longer chase side or this longer chase portion of the couch, there are gonna be two feet. You're gonna put these on the back ends of the couch because they're gonna be the ones that people don't really see that much. You know it's the back because it looks like this over here. It doesn't have all the embellishments. Then on the front side of the couch, you see it's the front because it has all of these things on it. You're gonna have two square feet and you're gonna put these in this side. Make sure that you see the four little dots on it. That's how you know that you're putting it on the right side because y'all, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I did put it on the wrong side to begin with. And you're just gonna use, there are black bolts and an Allen wrench. I'm gonna show y'all what that looks like on the other side once again. I'm just showing y'all what I've done so far. So these two over here and then those two over there. That's all that you're gonna have to put together for this part of the sofa. Okay, y'all, so now we're on to the main sofa part of the couch. For this part, you're going to need, sorry, y'all do not mind the ground again. That's gonna be another video. I'm doing two videos at the same time. Like I said, we're in renovation mode in here. But you're gonna take the rest of these feet. There's gonna be four more in the pack and the longer screws. This is what it looks like. I told y'all, I'll show y'all. There's gonna be these longer screws that you're gonna use and you're gonna screw them in into the four corners. One right, oop. That one. And then this one. Y'all, for that part of screwing them in, I'm not, even gonna, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I did start using a screwdriver at first because that's all I had in my room at the moment. I didn't feel like going to the garage or the basement or anything like that to get any tools. But I highly suggest just not using a screwdriver and using a power drill because the amount of time that I feel like I wasted using a screwdriver. And I will say, I did get pretty far, but at least with the wheels, this next part, there aren't four holes for the wheels for the screws. So just, just get the power drill so you don't have to go and do it later. That's just an advice, some advice and some recommendation on how to make this process go a little faster. But let's get back to what you're gonna need for this main couch part. Okay, so like I said, make sure you're screwing these in, make sure you're doing it on the right way where this rounded part is this way. Because like I said, I also messed up with these feet. I put them on the wrong way and it was not working out. So make sure you put them on the right way. Then on the inside four corners, you're going to put the wheels. There's gonna be four wheels and then you're going to use these smaller screws and there's gonna be four screws. Like I said, for me, I don't know if all of them are like this, but for me, I'll show you right here. As you can see on this wheel, there were two holes. Y'all, sorry for the lighting and the glare. There were two holes in the diagonals but there are no there is no hole right there or right there if y'all could tell so that's why I say you're going to need a power drill because trying to do trying to make a hole through that to screw this in by hand you'll be here forever so just go ahead and get a power tool and screw these in I'm gonna finish doing this with y'all on camera because as y'all see I didn't finish so I'm gonna do this and then I'll show y'all the next step
so this is the last piece of furniture that you're gonna get in all the three boxes these are going to be your armrest as you can see we're gonna be putting these square feet on them I've already put three of them on but I left this one out just to show y'all the process okay so this is what the foot looks like this side is going to go on the furniture this is the side that's gonna go on the floor this is what the bolt looks like it's black I'm gonna put it in like this there's already a pre um, done hole right there for the bolt to go in so this is way easier you're gonna take the Allen wrench that they give you and you're just simply gonna turn it around you know righty tighty lefty loosey even though I think I'm going left right now, so let's not even mind that. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna keep turning this until it's super tight, does it move, and boom. So that is the end of all of the assembly as far as putting in any sort of tools and objects into the furniture. Now we're gonna move on to actually assembling the couch. So give me a second, and then I'll change this angle and we'll start putting this couch together piece by piece. Okay y'all, so it is finally assembly time. This is the side and area of my room that the couch is gonna go in. So I'm gonna attempt to put this together by myself. It's really like a two person job, but I'm an independent. I'm gonna figure out how to do this. <laughs> so the first thing that we're going to need for putting this together is going to be the main couch part, which is right here in the chase. So I'm gonna bring those over and set it up in the area and then we'll move into assembling them together. And try to remember to lift with your legs. Do as I say, not as I do, cause I might not lift with my legs, but I'm telling you, I'm recommending <laughs> to lift with your legs. Okay, now I'm gonna put the chase on this side and hopefully it fits over there. So now we're gonna put the backrest and all that in. So let me go grab that from over there and bring it over here. So this is the first piece I'm gonna be putting in. This is just the backrest for this longer portion. It has something on it. There are brackets here at the bottom of this and there are brackets in the sofa. I'm just gonna slide these in.
hard to align them at first, but once you get them aligned, you just wanna push it all the way back. Now I'm gonna get that other back rest. And you know, this is the right one because it's the shorter one. I'm gonna bring it all closer so y'all can see more of what exactly is going on. Oh yeah, so here is the back rest. And here are the brackets that we're inserting them into. You just wanna push this back align the two brackets inside and then push back yeah. and now we're going to add the pillows on okay so here is the pillow oh yeah so here's one of the pillows this is what it looks like on the back you see there's this like zipper on it and there's also a zipper on this so you're just gonna align them and zip it up like how you would your jacket or anything like that. This one is done. I'm gonna bring y'all closer so y'all can see how it looks over here okay so once again you're just gonna get your pillow and try to align it into this zipper which may take a little finagling now it's in the zipper i like to hold so it doesn't come apart and just bring it right on across so in the end it would just look like that and I'm gonna do this last and final one. Okay y'all, so now that the backrest and all the pillows are in, it's time to put, or it's time to attach the armrest to the pieces attach the pieces to each other and then we're done so I'm gonna start off with this side the chase side because I want this side to be closest to the wall so that I have space on that side of the room so let me start with trying to put an armrest over here and basically let me show you how it's gonna look like so here's the armrest you see it has these brackets on it these brackets correspond with the brackets on the side of the chase so let me show you what it looks like over there you see there are brackets down there basically I have to insert these into those brackets so let's try to do it on this side first and I'm trying to get as best of the angle as I can for y'all this one might be a little trickier to get but y'all still understand and we'll get the gist of what's going on here. Okay, so like I said, this angle might be a little different, but I'ma try my best, y'all, yeah, I'ma try my best. So, this is the armrest. This really is a two person job. It's okay, we are gonna get it. This is the armrest and this chase has to be brought up and placed inside of these brackets so I'm gonna leave this on the wall for that support and then I'm going to try to bring this chase inside of those brackets as best as I can y'all gonna do is actually I'm gonna tip this over like this lean it on the couch and then hmm, you know the idea that I was just thinking of yeah, yeah. lean it on the couch prop it on 
my leg a little bit. I think we're out of frame now. <laughs> a part of me truly thinks we're out of frame. Let me bring this up. Okay, hopefully that's a little better. But take this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Okay, I'm just gonna have to bring them close together. just took it out <laughs> I had it until I didn't y'all okay so this side is in I know that's probably hard to see it's kind of something that you just have to be in person honestly truthfully is this side in this side is not in okay nor is the bottom. That sounded like it just got in. Now let me check this side. Yay! Okay, all the pieces are in now. Super excited about that. Now, I don't want this that close to the wall. <laughs> so I'm gonna push it, give me just a little bit of space in this corner. And then I'm going to push it back. Not all the way on the wall, but just far back enough for me and my liking. And yay, okay, I'm excited, I'm excited. Now we have to attach the next piece. I think I'm actually gonna go with trying to attach the chase to the sofa next. I think that makes the most sense right now. Let's attempt to do this one now. Same, it's the same concept, y'all. There's three brackets on this side, three brackets on this side. I have to get this side into here. Those two pieces are now connected. Now, I'm gonna push it back. <laughs> and this piece is the easiest because all I have to do is just slide it right in. Yay! Okay. Ooh, I'm excited, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. Let me fix the angles for y'all. Okay, so the very last thing is to open up this bottom section and just take anything out that's in there, which is just this cardboard. I'm gonna push it back in. Okay, so look, 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 look. <laughs> me on my couch. 
let me show y'all the best part about this couch before we go. Okay, so y'all just saw, you can pull this out, right, right. Then there are these straps right here. And look, now it's like a bed. If somebody has to, if somebody's staying over and they just have to come and they need some place to chill. And then it gets better, y'all. It gets better. Yeah, I kind of already saw this earlier. But this does open up. Look. So there's all this storage inside of this part of the couch. So I'm super, super excited about this. Let me put this back. Y'all, I have been wanting a couch in this area for forever. I finally found one that I like. It took a long time to find one in an affordable one. This whole couch, this convertible couch, it comes out into a full size bed. It is And it's tuft and it's like this suede, velvety sort of texture and fabric. Y'all, this was less than $1,000, which I didn't want to spend more than like 600 but to get what I wanted that's what I had to spend so I hope y'all enjoyed this video I hope you were able to learn something hope you were able to also build your modern fork couch if you were struggling with trying to put it together I know that's a big thing when I'm putting things together that's why I always like to record when I'm assembling furniture because a lot of these directions do not have like words on it or have a video tutorial and I know at least for me personally I like to be able to see what it looks like sometimes things don't make sense like I know how to put it together but I want to make sure I'm putting it together right <laughs> so I hope this helped y'all if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section down below I'll help as much as I can and I will say thank you to Modern Fort because at first there were some things on this like I showed y'all earlier that just kind of wasn't working out or didn't make sense and I contacted them through Amazon they reached out to me through email and they were able to help me through the entire situation so I want to really thank their customer support they were really fast about it they like every single night they were sending me an email about how to fix it and just make sure that everything was okay so I really want to give a shout out to their customer support because these days y'all I haven't even told you the half of the customer service issues that I've had so yeah if you want to see more of this couch make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok at I'm Sincerely Drew because this is going to be an area that you'll see a lot I'm going to be taking pictures over here all that sort of stuff so make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok at I'm Sincerely Drew to see more of me and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video comes out and remember that I love you all so so much and my name is Sincerely Drew and I'll see you on the next video Bye. Ah, y'all so excited. Look at the new area. Ah, okay. Bye.